Welcome y'all to Daily Commitment. Well, we do just a little bit of exercise, just a little bit guys, but we work out every day. We're making some real progress here on these newer exercises, our dips and our pull-ups. And then we're gonna go do us some squats. Yesterday we had a really light squat day, did 40 squats. I was really drained yesterday, so 40 squats used to be a lot for me, but 40 is a light day for me, so that was nice to have a light day. Hopefully today we'll get 70, but we're gonna listen to our bodies. And uh, let's start with our newer exercises. Let's do some uh, pull-ups. Let's do some dips, guys. So we're still getting a little bit of assistance on the dips, and I can see these aren't exactly even. And I actually noticed a little extra soreness uh, on my left side yesterday after I finished my dips. I think it's because I didn't have them quite exactly even, so that's interesting. There we go, that's a little better. So I kind of noticed that, like, why am I extra sore on my left side here? I'm like, I'm looking at it going, that's like a full inch up that was higher. So I think that might improve my dips, get them a little more even. Um, we are still gonna be using this resistance band. Uh, we're doing these every day now. We used to do them every third day. And we're up to, we did five, uh, not last time, we did only four last time, but we did five the time before that. And that's doing them every day. So we're making a lot of progress. And soon we won't even need this resistance band, but so, so that we don't overwhelm ourselves. Remember, we're only trying to do 70% of our maximum each day. We're not trying to do our maximum each day. So soon we won't need these, and we'll still be able to do it every day and only be doing 70% of our maximum. But for today, we're still gonna use the resistance band. So our first one, you can see this is, you don't, I don't wanna come all the way down. That's a little bit past horizontal on the top there. So I don't wanna come all the way down, but the first one, I'm gonna jump a little bit so I'm not, straining my shoulders trying to do do an overextended dip. You don't want to be dipping down to here every time. Um, but anyway, and then after that, I just won't let my feet hit all the way on the ground. So let's go one, up, and then two, uh, three, uh, four. Uh, let's do five, baby. Oh, five. We got five this time. Could have maybe done a little more, but again, we're not trying to hit our maximum every time, so I'm fine with just uh, just that. We're not trying to hit that maximum. Now we're gonna do the pull-ups. Pull-ups are a little easier to get even because I'm basically just going all the way, all the way to the top here. And unfortunately, let's actually come a little bit wider there. Unfortunately, we don't have, this doesn't go high enough. This isn't high enough for us to do this with our feet hanging, so you'll see me pull my feet up like this. But still, I'm doing a nice full pull up every time. We're going all the way down every time, so that's good. I'm trying to make sure these are wide enough. That's why I was pulling that one guy out a little bit. Make sure this has got a little bit. There we go. Maybe a little more. All right. There we go. All right, so we got these guys here, right? So this guy kind of more too. The thing is, it hits that. You want them to be able to twist a little bit, so I don't really want it right up against, because I'm going to go like this. Actually, I would like to start like this, and then as I pull, have them go out. So anyway, let's go ahead and do this again. We are gonna have to use this bent knee position, which I don't like as much, but it's okay. And again, we're not getting very much support from this because of this bent knee position, but that's fine, that's good. We're almost getting to where we do pull-ups with no support band. But again, we're not trying to kill ourselves, and we can do it without a support band, but I wanna do multiples, and I wanna make sure that I don't overwork myself any individual day since we're doing it every day. So let's see if we get four or how we feel today. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh god! Oh god! That's definitely. Oh, it's definitely the end of my end of my end of my thing there. But that's okay. This could have been a little better, but that's fine. I'm fine with that. Now I really with those five. Those five um, uh, dips there really wore out my uh, some of my pushers here. So we are kind of getting a second set on that, but that's okay. That's okay. We're actually going to do this in this room here. We've been doing this a little differently in this room rather than the main room because we've got people in there is what's, is what's going on in there. So we want a little extra room. So we're doing them in the bathroom here, guys, but that's okay. Let's start out with the push-ups. What we want to do with the push-ups here is, again, we don't want to do too much. 
So we're not gonna push ourselves too hard on this. I do wanna very importantly get it so you guys can see my body here, so we can get that really good body lock here. So we're gonna come down like this right into the shoulders. We're gonna go back about two inches. We're gonna to switch to the fists so we don't hurt our forearm flexor. We're gonna keep our elbows back. Our head's gonna be straight here. We don't, I do this thing where I go like this and I kind of stick it down to the ground when I come down. So I gotta remember to keep my head straight. But also you're gonna see me tighten legs. See the legs tighten? Tighten butt, tighten chest. I'm totally bored. One, now just the chest touches. Two, keep that head locked. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight is fine, again, I'm pushing myself on the dip, so it's part of the reason the push-ups aren't really moving up, but I'm fine with that. And I'm gonna pause this a second, I'm gonna switch to some shorts here, because we got a lot of squats to do. We're gonna go for 70 today, get back up to that 70. One second, guys. All right, guys, we're back at it. We got our normal squat bar. We got our, uh, our broom handle rather than that metal bar. This one's a little bit lighter. Neither one are more than a few pounds, but I like this one just slightly better. Um, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves set up here. We got our nice shorts on so we won't overheat immediately. We may turn the shirt halfway off, uh, off halfway through. Uh, I'm focusing on getting my feet out, maybe 30 degrees. I used to say 45, but I think it's closer to 30 or 35 degrees out. Not quite 45. And we're going to keep that head tucked. That's the thing. This bar naturally pushes your chest out, but you don't want your head to be like that. You don't want to be looking up as you do the squat. You want that chin tucked. All right, so our first couple, we're kind of trying to line those feet up right. Make sure we feel good coming down. Eh, it was a little bit tight coming down there. I'm actually gonna open my feet a little wider here. Keep the head tucked, let's come up. All right, so that's one. Turn these feet just the right angle. Two. Definitely don't feel super spry today either. I thought I'd feel extra spry since I only did 40 last time. Three. It's okay, we're gonna stop at the bottom and make sure we feel stretched out each time. Four. Woo, wiggle that butt, right? Five. Feels a little better. I felt a little more stretched out and lined up there. Six. Keep the head tucked. I could tell it came out of alignment there for a second. Seven. All right, I'm feeling a little better. Eight. Ooh, all right. I'm trying to get this bar on exactly the right spot too, guys. Nine. Maybe a little higher. Right on my shoulder blades there. Ten. Got our warm-up squats done. Legs feel pretty aligned. My arms don't feel quite right, right yet. Eleven. Getting close though. Really want to feel locked in here. Twelve. It's all right. 13, maybe a little higher on my shoulders for the bar there. I think I had a little too low. Let's see. 14, that's a little better probably. 15, again, I don't grab the bar. This helps uh, keep me from like over tightening that forearm flexor. I think that's 16, right? I think so. I might be one off here. 17. I'm just taking them nice and slow today. 18. Feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good now. 19. These are kind of the warm ups. 20. I'm going to do the meat of the exercise now once we pass 20. 21. Keep that head tucked. 22, I tend to speed up a little bit once I feel like I'm lined up. 23, and that can be good to challenge your cardio. 24, it's not necessarily good if you're bouncing up and down though, right? 25, by making sure I settle in each time, all the way up, all the way down. 26, I'm really getting a good stretch every time. 27, feeling like I'm really stretching myself out. 28, 
28, 29, all right, 30, feeling a little more spry today, huh? 31, 32, check them nice and slow, 33, got a long way to go still. 34, you can tell I'm starting to pant now, right? <laughs> 35, 36, 37, doing all with the shirt on so far, 38, which leaves me a little reward. 39, take the shirt off uh, towards the end. 40, giving myself a second break when I take the shirt off. 41, but get that nice cool air too as a reward. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, I was kind of speeding up there for a little bit, I could feel it, 48, 49, and one day guys, this is going to be halfway. 50. 50 is going to be halfway one day. Not too long. 51. Feeling really good today. 52. So we're going to do more than 70 for sure. 59, because I'm speeding up a little bit, aren't I? Yep. 60. Woo! All right. 61. A little pause at the bottom here. 62. Feeling really my heart thumpy thumpy. 63. Woo! 64. Take that little pause at the bottom. 65. 66, keep it going baby, 67, little pause at the bottom, little pause at the top, 68, 69, we did it guys, we got 70, but we're not stopping, there's 70, I'm going to keep my feet in exactly the same position, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my shirt off, as if I can get this thing to sit here, Take my shirt off as a little bored. My back is actually feeling tired too. Not just my legs, but I'm locked in here. Feet are just in the right position. We're gonna keep it going. Let's see how far we can get, guys. You guys ready? 71. Woo! 72. Woo! 73, I feel lighter with that shirt off, baby. A little bit of a break to it there. 73? Is that 73 or 74? We'll say it's 73. 74. 75. We're shooting a new max today, guys. I can feel it. 76. After doing only 40 yesterday. 77. We're a little more rested today. We're shooting a new max. 78. 79, oh yeah guys, 80, keep that head tucked, 81, how far will we go, old max is 85, 
82. 83. Oh, yeah. 84. All the way down. 85. Pause the top for a second. Here we go, guys. Let's keep it going. New max. 86. We're breaking 100 today. 87. Breaking 100 today. 88. New max over 100. 89. All the way down. We got 90. All right, guys. Here we go. 91. 92. All the way down. 93. Woo! 94. 95. 96. Yeah. 97. Keep that head tucked. 98. 99. That's right, motherfuckers. 100. And I said we're breaking 100. So let's do 100 and 1. We could actually do more, but that was solid. New max, guys, for squats 101. So we know we got this. So 70% of our maximum, 70 squats, not a big deal. Woo! 101 squats, baby. So we could have pushed it further, but again, we're not trying to push our max every day. And that new max isn't quite a full max, but oh, I feel it. These legs are so worn out, but it feels great. You guys keep it up. A little bit every day adds up to a lot. We'll see you next time right here on Daily Commitment. Bye, guys.